You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome to another bright and snowy day here in Albuquerque, Nuevo Mexico. And welcome to another show, as today we're going to be talking about how to save your booty that's on fire. Yep, that's right. <laughs> we're That's what we're talking about today. Anyway, thanks again, as always, for joining us. Really do appreciate you being here. And thanks again for listening in. As always, my name is Paul. I mean, my name is Rob. And yeah, absolutely thankful that you're uh, hanging out with us today, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Thank you for taking a few minutes um, yeah, to, to spend with us. And hopefully you learn a little bit, if not a lot. Do send your questions to AstroNU.com. We'd love to hear from you. Plenty of room for your question, just like the one that you're about to hear. And uh, things are always changing. New equipment, new business ideas, new business challenges, etc. So we should never stop having questions. And so take a minute and uh, go to AstroNU.com and send yours in. Definitely, please send in those questions. We do appreciate it. We do like the entrepreneurial-based questions as well. Go ahead, send those in. We really do appreciate it. Today's show is brought to you by a brand new program from Drone U. We want to make managers' jobs easier. So if you're building a drone team with lots of pilots and you need to manage those teams, make sure they get the right training. Make sure that they don't struggle through any part of the training. And as you know, drone workflow is nuanced. You miss one little piece and you could miss the whole job. So how do you make sure that your pilots are current and proficient? They're able Able to consistently deliver for your team and how can you make sure how can you ensure that they know exactly what they're doing well with scenario based testing behavioral analytics and so much more the props programs give the power to the manager if you're starting a drone team or you're scaling your existing drone business you're not going to want to miss checking mm -hmm. out the props program check it out at propsflightschool.com Hey guys, I just watched your video about what to do if you crash your drone in an inaccessible area. During that discussion, the topic of fires came up because of the batteries that they use. I think DJI refers to these batteries as lithium polymer. But I did some quick reading and found lithium metal batteries and lithium ion batteries. They each require a different type of fire extinguisher. So what should we have on hand to extinguish a fire with a lithium polymer battery? I know obviously, if possible, you want to remove it from any flammable area, like inside your house, and just put it on the dirt outside. But if that's not possible, what do we do to extinguish the fire? Looking at the temperature of a lithium metal fire they would be able to melt through most surfaces so you know putting it in a stainless steel sink might work but maybe not and if we can't move it outside we might have a big problem lastly thanks for all the videos and information that you share with everybody Bob, uh, we really do appreciate the question, and it's a very good one. It's a very important one because we can't make assumptions. I think, I think a lot of people know that you can't use water generally for a lot of different types of fires, grease fires, etc. And probably many, if not most, battery-based fires. And so, to answer this question, we went to some of our friendly neighborhood fire department experts. We sure did. We sure did. And in fact, uh, Rob is probably getting annoyed at the fact that I'm a, a, gen, or a millennial uh, looking at Robin Hood right now. No, no, I just want to look at mine. <laughs> I'm not focusing on the show. <laughs> but no, uh, we did learn that there is only one fire extinguisher that's okay. And it's called Purple K. That's right. Uh, in fact, we asked our good friend uh, John Wakey from the FDNY. We had to go to the oldest fire department in the United States to make sure that we got the best answer because, you know, we want answers that are built off of experience. Right, Rob? Absolutely. And so what better thing to do than have more experience than anybody else? So uh, when you're looking at uh, fire extinguishers for your business, for your truck, for whatever, uh, for your RV, 
I asked John, okay, what is the best extinguisher for LiPo, LiHi, um, uh, lithium ion batteries as well? And he said, long and the short of it is, is that really what you want to do is utilize a fire extinguisher that's made for heavy metals. And he said that the Purple K is the way to go. And actually, he, he sent me a lot of uh, information as far as different fire extinguishers. And listen to this, the types of dry chemical agents, potassium bicarbonate, also known as Purple K. What a cool name for a fire extinguisher. Um, <laughs> for anything, really. <laughs> like, seriously. Uh, used on Class Bravo and Charlie fires, about two times as effective on Class Bravo fires as a sodium bicarbonate solution. The Purple K is preferred dry chemical agent of the oil and gas industry. Hmm. So I think that this showcases the power of uh, the Purple K, which is really interesting because they have another type of of extinguisher i wouldn't i'm not sure i would recommend it though because they talk about the met l k l y it's a specialty variation of sodium bar bicarbonate for fighting pyrophoric fires in addition to sodium bicarbonate it also contains silica gel particles the sodium bicarbonate interrupts the chain reaction of the fuel and the silica soaks up any unburned fuel preventing contact with the air so not really for our batteries we're going to go back to purple k i just thought it was a neat little tidbit of information for purple k that said uh, i do think it's important there was another thing in here i wanted to mention um when it comes to these fire extinguishers, that you should probably have one on hand uh, really anytime you fly. I mean, oh, I remember what I was going to mention. Whenever you have a lithium battery fire, do you know what not to do? The one thing that you should never put on a battery if it catches fire, water. Do not put water on a lithium fire the issue is reignition but anyway that, i mean that's pretty much it rob so what common sense tells you to put out a fire with water does not work in this particular instance not at all even kona says so as well and so basically the purple k is really kind of the last place people need to stop is, it should cover any issues they have with battery fires. Um, as far as we understand from our information from John, uh, this should cover most fires, yes. Um, if not all, obviously we're not fire experts by any means, and we trust the opinions of our friends at FDNY, exactly. which also includes our good friend Mike Ball. That said, I think it's extremely important to say you can buy a Purple K on, uh, on Amazon. In fact, we'll include a link here uh, right away, and that is the Amorex uh, B79T 5-pound Purple K fire extinguisher. We might just have to pick one up ourselves. But on this short version of Ask Drone You, we wanted to make sure that you knew exactly the best way possible to put out a fire if, for whatever reason, you do have to deal with that. It does happen. Don't ignore it, because as soon as you do, you become the 1% who has to deal with it. <laughs> Indeed. So. It's like insurance. <laughs> oh, that you you got to have it. Oh, that was dirty. That was dirty. <laughs> it's so true. Anyway, thanks again for joining us. If if you have a question, please go to askadroneu.com, and there are no stupid questions. And no, Paul, aka myself, I will not berate you for asking a question. Please send them in. Thank you again for listening. Thank you for being loyal. Thank you for everyone who has supported Drone U. We've never had as many members as we have today, and we are just extremely grateful for all of you, and we're grateful for the opportunity to help you succeed in life, because that's why we're here. On that bombshell, that's going to do it. My name is Paul. My name's Rob. This is Ask Drone You. Ask Drone You.